In today's project, we're going to be making a low-cost 18 SMD LED USB rechargeable flashlight. Let's get right into the video. 1. XL6009 DC to DC step-up module An 18650 5-volt charging module There are two types, one can be plugged in through micro USB and the other uses mini USB. A switch A 12-volt LED bulb might supposed to be used for automotive purposes, but I'll be using it in this project because of its brightness. Wires Some basic electrical and hand tools And finally, some 18650 batteries or a laptop battery. If you have an old laptop battery lying around, you might be surprised that they aren't as useless as you thought. After ripping mine apart, I found 6 of these powerful 18650 batteries lying inside. However, if the battery appeared to be dead when used with a computer, then it could be a few dead cells inside. The first step is to put everything together. For this part, I'll be using a soldering iron, hot glue, and some tape. First, I taped 3 batteries together and soldered them in parallel using some small pieces of wire. Then, I soldered 2 wires to each side of the battery pack and connected positive to positive and negative to negative with the charging module and the voltage booster. These batteries are quite powerful and can cause fires if anything is short circuited. Hot glue is used to cover up each connection to prevent this from happening. Because I'm using an adjustable step up transformer, I need to set the output voltage of the step up module. This is done by turning the potentiometer clockwise and anti-clockwise. Once it puts down a constant 12 volts, I attach the LED bulb and the switch in series to be able to turn it on and off. Here's a quick look at the circuit diagram. The charging module is connected to the three batteries that are in parallel. Because this only produces 4 volts, a step up module is used to boost it to 12 volts, which is then connected to the switch and the bulb. I'm using this old incandescent 6 volt flashlight that I found in my garage as the housing for this light. My original plan was to use PVC pipe, but this flashlight was my free alternative. Using my rotary tool, I marked and cut a hole in the side of the case for the charging module. The bulb was too big to fit in the pre existing hole, so I cut the top off, which made it big enough to fit the LED bulb. Once that was done, I used hot glue to secure the bulb, the switch, the three batteries, the two modules, and all the wires. When that was done, I screwed back on the top and the flashlight was done. After some use and some research, it might not be safe to use three batteries in combination with this charging module. Instead, you can use one battery, which will work fine, and because of testing I did before the build, it can last three hours without needing to be recharged. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to catch my future videos and leave ideas for stuff I should build in the comments below.